Many colleges and universities are doing it, but now a school in KCK is also jumping on the iPod bandwagon. Sloan Heller got a sneak peek. Sloan. Good morning, Curtis. Well, KCK is one of just three schools in the state testing out a new iPod program. Imagine a world where 9 and 10 year olds look forward to class, where pens are scarce and paper is practically archaic. You just entered the fifth grade class at M.E. Pearson. I'm used to using computers and I'm like almost a nerd, so I'm pretty good. When you walk around this room, you'll find students waving around their iPods, eager to show off their favorite app. They're part of an iPod Touch pilot program. It's being funded by the Kansas Department of Education. With the touch of a button, students get their assignments. We we all have our password in there, but it's the same password. And um, they send us an email and we had to reply it. And then throughout the day, they use the iPods to supplement lessons on reading, writing, math, and science. Feedback is immediate. Instead of raising their hands, students are encouraged to blog their questions. It's a phenomenal way to teach. The old way, you know, you handed everything out and graded it maybe two days later, maybe gave it to the kids, maybe didn't, and this is all instantaneous. We've got different apps where you could check your spelling and it's much easier to check your spelling than just ask the teacher because sometimes they don't know a word you're trying to spell. If you visit a college campus today, most of the work that teachers are doing, they're facilitating through technology. It's a disservice to our children if we aren't preparing for that world. But Horner wants to make sure her students find a balance, that they stay active and don't lose touch with real communication. And the district is rolling out the program actually to three more schools, we're told, in the next two months, all in KCK. An iPad pilot program, by the way, is also going to be launched at the John Fisk Elementary School. So, mm, pretty cool. I, it makes you wonder, do the kids ever put the iPods down? Well, they're supposed to only be on it like 50% of the day because, of course, you know, you saw them in the video. They are still reading real books, and they want to make sure, you know, you don't lose that ability to talk to people because if you're sitting on a, you know, on an iPod all day, you, you might forget how to talk. Talk. Oh <laughs> Is it at all distracting for the kids? Well, of course, they've filtered out certain websites. Um, and <laughs> if they're caught, that cute little boy Thomas was saying, if you're caught listening to music or playing games, they're taken away. And oh. I have a feeling that's happened to him once before. <laughs> the <laughs> the nerd feeling. in the making. Exactly. The nerd in the exactly. Making. What a cute kid. All right, yeah. Amazing. Oh, my goodness. Cool. Mm -hmm. Really cool. Thanks, guys.